Hi, this is Lou Covey, Editorial Director of New Tech Press, and I'm here with Bodo DeWitt and uh, Marcel Dehan from the BOM Invest Foreign Investments out of the Netherlands. And we're talking about uh, companies expanding into the Netherlands. So, gentlemen, tell me a little bit about the BOM for Foreign Investments. What is it exactly? Uh, well, BOM Foreign Investments is a public financed uh, organization. And uh, our main task is to, uh, to strengthen the economy of the province of Brabant. And one of our departments is the Foreign Investment Department. And we are responsible for, uh, for getting as much uh, foreign investors to the Netherlands as possible. Okay. And what makes this region so unique, um, not only for the Netherlands, but also for Europe in particular? It is the, the most important research and development province of the Netherlands. It uh, has a very strong logistical sector because of the location between Rotterdam and the Ruhr area. So it's uh, more or less a stepping stone to, to Europe. But it also has a very strong uh, high-tech uh, cluster. Companies like uh, Philips, NXP, ASML, they're all based in the Eindhoven region. And I think that's the most important characteristic of the um, well, uh, province so, The Netherlands in general, we should talk about, you know, it's also an access to the European market, not only for physical goods, but also mm -hmm. for high tech. So access to technology, access to knowledge. And, and yeah, the southeast of the Netherlands is a, is a how do you call it, a, a center within the Netherlands, high tech, high tech industry. Okay. So, why should companies look at uh, BOM? Is it, do we call it BOM or BOM? Well, BOM Foreign Investments. No, BOM and Foreign. It's a Dutch word, Dutch, uh, Dutch name. Okay, what does it mean? Brabant. That's uh, the southern part of the Netherlands. Okay. Uh, development agency. Okay. Yeah. So, why should companies? I mean, you've, you mentioned some very big names. Okay. Uh, so, are those are the kind of companies that you're specifically looking for, or are you looking for all kinds of companies? We're, we're, I mean, first maybe to answer your question about, so that we, we offer a one-stop shop to companies, so we provide a full service package to companies that want to invest in the Netherlands. And as you can imagine, if you look at foreign investments, you're talking about, uh, about tax rulings, about housing, about incentives, about partners, about access to technology. We can all provide that in a one-stop shop, and we do this in cooperation with... Uh, with our specialists. So we have many specialists, it can be accountants, technology people, uh, people from the, the tax authorities. We all can bring them into a project team and deliver all the services to these companies. Okay. And, and of what we're looking for, we're looking for, uh, especially for uh, companies that fit with our uh, economic structure. And this means, uh, well, mainly high tech companies or uh, logistical companies. Because that is the that are the strongest sectors in our region. And it can be huge high tech companies. We do have them like Mars or Tyco or, or a company like Intel Instruments. But it also can be startup companies that want to expand uh, to globalize uh, and are looking for market access and partners. Okay. And let's say well, let's, a lot of the companies that are here at the Design West are small companies. So, what kind of expansion might I consider it, uh, as a company uh, going into the Netherlands? Well, uh, we've been here now for one week traveling with uh, uh, a team and we met several companies and, and we see that, that Europe is, is still of interest because of uh, markets but also because of technology. So it depends on, on the company themselves, if, if they first need to develop the market first and after that they integrate more in what we call an ecosystem, so access to technology, to universities, to other organizations uh, in the Netherlands. So it's both business development and uh, integration to the high-tech ecosystem in the Netherlands. Okay. So when's, when would be the right time for a company to actually consider this kind of expansion? That's a difficult question. I mean, the right time. Uh, well, as Bodo said, I mean, the, the main driver is, of course, the market uh, opportunity. Uh, and, and, of course, maybe the, the technology, access to technology and to cooperate. And it, it is not really what you cannot, I think, it's difficult to ask in this question the right time. It depends okay. on the company, which sector you are, it depends on in which stage you are, are you early stage or a mature company. Um, so that there is no general answer to that. I think at this moment, I mean, 
companies a little bit hesitant towards Europe because of well the, the financial crisis and, and the, the political discussion even in Europe. I think this is not correct. I think there, there, there is a lot of still an enormous market opportunity and that is, it's really not connected to this more troubles we have with the budget deficits, etc. So, uh, so I, I should say certainly at this moment it is the right time to go. Okay. And maybe also good to add the Netherlands, even though it's a small country, it's a very neutral country. So a stepping stone to Europe, you know, to big markets like Germany or France or even the UK. Uh, yeah, of course, we're biased, but we see a lot of U.S. companies looking at the Netherlands because of its location, because of the available knowledge, but also, for example, tax incentives. The Netherlands is very good in offering U.S. companies interesting tax uh, opportunities to do R&D, to do new product development, and many times we see a combination of U.S. companies deciding for the Netherlands because of those tax incentives, because of the location, close to the European market, and also because of the available knowledge over there. Well, that's, that brings up an interesting possibility of the issue of taxation, because the, the general feeling in the United States is taxes are really high in Europe. Okay. So how does, that, how, how does the Netherlands comp compare in this area? Well, I mean, if you compare with the U.S., you, you maybe could say they are high. But if you if you look at uh, from within the context of Western Europe, of actually the whole of Europe, then the Netherlands is uh, is one of the most has one of the most favorable tax climates. Just to give you a figure, we have a 25 corporate income tax. If you have uh, research and development and innovation, you could even go to five percent if your business is connected to research and development in the Netherlands. And what is very special, I think that only I think Switzerland has this, is that you can make rulings, tech rulings with tax authorities. So if you want to make an investment, you can negotiate with the government and make an agreement. And it's it's so it's it's actually it's a very favorable tax regime. Uh, three days ago, KPMG drafted a report, and uh, and the report said that that we have to the best lowest cost to do R and D in Western Europe because of those those tax incentives and those tax rulings you can make. So I, I think the general opinion of the taxes are very high in Europe. I don't think this is correct. Yeah, there is a, many nuances. It depends, of course, the type of activity you want to do. But it's 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 no, it's it's a good climate actually. Excellent. Well, gentlemen, thank you very much for your time, and I hope you enjoy your time at the show. Thank you. Okay, thank you.